Mike, thanks for, for your time today. Um, I have a couple of interesting questions I think uh, some of our uh, listeners would like to Shoot. Hear. So one of the questions that we received was, um, how do you see LT Spice enabling engineers to develop product? Oh, God, am I glad you asked that question. Because it's, it's amazing what a misconception it, there is in industry over the value of a simulator. Okay, you I mean, I, I've just, some people will look at a simulator and think, well, you know, that's a good sanity check. And other people will look at a simulator and say, that is how you verify the design. You know, some bureaucrat from Europe might have that perspective. Okay, well, it, you know, it's really worth understanding the value of a simulator. Let's really, you know, consider what is the value of a simulator. Uh, is it a sanity check? No. If you're worried about your sanity, you should see a therapist. Circuit simulation is not going to help you at all. I just, you know, there's things that aren't worth being confused about. Now, is it um, the way you verify a design? No. The problem is that the macro models that you use are all typical performance at room temperature. So you can't possibly verify a design if you can only simulate typical performance at room temperature of the semiconductors you're using. Now that's not, a, um, that's not an LT SPICE simulation, that's over all simulators. I have never in my life seen a macro model of an integrated circuit that included production scatter or proper behavior over temperature. So you can't verify a design with simulation. Now the, um, the point of simulation is so you understand your circuit better. You simulate the circuit so you know what you need to do to simulate the, uh, so you know what you need to do to verify the design. It's um, basically what the simulator is doing is it's helping you develop intuition on how the circuit works. And there is no way to understate the value of cultivating your intuition on how your circuit works. Intuition is the most important part of engineering and you can prove that. All you have to do is look at Europe a thousand years ago. You know, you know, they had these cities, you know, people congregated in cities and they were defended with walls because there were other people that wanted to attack the city to take the things and the people inside the city. Well, you know, how were these wars resolved? Machines. You know, there were siege machines that would disable, that would defeat the, uh, the value of a city wall for, uh, uh, for its, you know, defeat the defense, defensive uh, uh, purpose of a city wall. You know, siege, siege, siege machines uh, varied. Some were very simple, like a ladder on wheels. Some would look like a great big bow or a catapult that would shoot a heavy object. Some were very sophisticated, like a trebuchet. Now, how were these things designed? Well, you could say it's all F equals MA, it's all Newtonian mechanics, you know, you can solve that thing very tr true, very easily. And in principle, that's true, but Isaac Newton came 600 years later. Those machines were designed with intuition. There is no other explanation. And, so, and it will always be, you can probably reflect on your own life as an engineer, that it was through intuition that you knew what to test, what to try out, to try to fix the problems. You know, cultivating your intuition is the most important thing you can do, is the most important part of engineering. And that's what a simulator helps you do. It helps you, you know, because you can uh, look at any nodes or any current, or uh, uh, look at circuits without blowing them up, or look at circuits where you don't even have the parts available. That's what it does for you. All right, thank you very much for that input. I think it really hits its home with the... Uh, it's a question with an answer. That's correct. <laughs> the second question that we received was, uh, what is the main advantages LT Spice offers to an engineer? The main advantage that LT Spice offers you is that it is, a, it is the fastest, most accurate, most numerically robust Spice program available. It's, um, 20 years ago, it occurred to me I could write the world's fastest Spice. And so that's what I did with LT Spice. It was implemented, uh, I implemented it for internal uh, IC design, and we give it away so that you have a really quality simulator for using, uh, for designing our, our products into your circuit. That's what it does, and um, uh, that's why you should use it. Would you say the flexibility that LT Spice get, uh, gives the, uh, the engineer into modeling his own parts is an advantage? 
Well, yeah, I mean, there's nothing uh, particularly closed about Ultispice. It's not crippled in any way. It has a very rich modeling language. It doesn't have just behavioral sources. I mean, in, in Spice, people who sell Spice programs would say, oh, it has behavioral modeling because you can write an equation for a source. Well, in Ultispice, you can write equations for sources that'll parse the same syntax or even use more elaborate syntaxes, or you can write behavioral reactances. You have much more flexibility. It's a much richer modeling language than you have in um, in commercial spice, you know, in, in other commercial spice programs. Excellent. No, that's a good question. Answer. Thank you. Um, th last, almost last questions. Uh, would Altispice be, uh, speed up engineering time in the, for the market? This gets back to what the point is of simulation. It speeds you up in the sense that you can. Uh, uh, develop your intuition of your circuit quicker. That's the speed up it does. I um, uh, don't like to think that this is some canned situation where if you just simulate it and go build it without having to test it, I don't ever want to look like I'm promoting that. The point of simulation is so you, you know what you have to do to verify the circuit and in and, and that you can make more reliable circuits. But I would never advocate, oh, you just dry lab this thing, throw it on a per printed circuit board, never walk into the lab and try anything. I, I don't ever want to sound remotely like I'm advocating that. And it, so I, 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 I'm not doing a very good job of hiding that I don't like the question, OK? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, right, uh, would you, um, sorry. What would you say the minimum investment would be for engineers to become prof very proficient in LC spas? The what a uh, engineer should do is look through the example files and examples educational. Every one of those examples is contrived to illustrate some simulation technique or feature of the program or analysis style. Um, those examples are literally my humble, flat out, best effort basis to make a new user a SPICE expert. So you should look at those. Many will not be of any interest of you. Just look at the ones that look interesting and follow them. That's the path you should follow to become proficient at LT Splice. So in all fairness, um, it actually is up to the user to determine how much time he wants to spend to become. Well, this sounds like a life thing, you know. Uh, <laughs> no problem. Um, OK, so since um, AD parts uh, melted into to, uh, um, into, into or linear tech melted into ADI. Uh, do you see ADI parts being forming part of um, the LT Spice program in the near future? My main job today is getting AD prefixed parts into LT Spice. So far, there are um, 200 part numbers covered. Not all of them are. Um, as good as what we've traditionally done with LT Spice. I want to first get coverage and then get depth. But yes, that is my main focus um, to get analog to AD prefaced parts into LT Spice. Right now there's 100, and that's the main thing I worry about.